This hack tip is brought to you by Carbonite. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and today I'm getting into some more Linux Terminal 101. This week we are learning about I.O. redirection. So, I.O. stands for input, output, and it lets you redirect the input and the output of commands to and from files. And it also lets you connect multiple command pipelines. More on that later. I'm also going to introduce some new commands that we haven't covered yet in the next few coming weeks. Now let's get started. First, we need to understand that all the programs in the terminal give you some sort of output, whether that's a result or a status error message. These outputs send results over to a file called standard output, STD out for short, and messages to a file called standard error, STD error, ERR for short. By, by default, these files aren't saved to the disk. Also, the keyboard is automatically tied to the standard input facility, which is STDIN for short. So now we have IO redirection to change where the output goes instead of just the screen that you see in front of you and where the input comes from instead of just the keyboard, which is right there in front of you. Now let's test this. We're going to change the standard output result to save to a text file. For example, I'm going to type in ls tech l slash usr slash bin <laughs> and caret ls tech output dot txt. Press enter and you don't see anything quite yet. This gives you a long listing of slash usr slash bin in and it sends results over to that nice little text file that you just created. Now if you check it out with ls tech l and then ls tech output.txt, which is the name of the file we just created. You'll see it says snub snubs 96608, which is the size of the file right there. It, it gives you the text file, it basically says it has been saved, and you can view it with less by typing less tech ls tech output.txt. And there you go. You can see that it definitely saved into a very long series of information. Now after the break, we're going to try this with an unknown directory, and we're also going to truncate a new file. Awesome, stay tuned. Carbonite protects your pictures and your other files from a computer crash, a fire, theft, or when you accidentally delete a file by automatically and continually backing up your files and keeping them securely off-site. You'll never have to remember to back up again. Whether you have one or two computers at home or several computers at your small business, Carbonite is the better backup plan. Over one million customers trust Carbonite to protect their home and their small business computer files with plans starting at just 59 bucks a year. That's like super cheap. Start your free trial at Carbonite.com with the offer code HAK5 and you'll get two bonus months if you decide to buy. That's Carbonite.com and the offer code for two bonus months is HAK5. We're back! Now let's try to redirect an output for a directory that does not exist. So to do this you type in ls tac l slash bin slash usr and then caret ls tech output .txt. Now it tells me there's no such file or directory. Obviously there's an error message because slash bin slash usr doesn't exist, but usr slash bin does. So it got a little bit of confusion there. Now it's not redirected to the new .txt file because we haven't told ls to redirect error files. We just told ls to redirect resulting standard outputs like we did in the last uh, part of this video. Now check out the old txt file. You can do this by typing in ls tag l and then ls output dot txt. And press enter and you can see that it has no length because the redirection operator, the little caret, always rewrites from the beginning. The redirection operator started writing a brand new file but it stopped when it got this error and instead it just sent the error to the screen for all to see. Now here's a nice little shortcut. If you guys ever want to create a new file, all you can do to do that is just use a caret and then type in your file, whatever you want it to call. For example, if I wanted to make a new file called yourfile.txt, that's all I would have to write, caret yourfile.txt. 
txt. Very, very simple. Now to append an output file instead of overwriting it, you can use caret caret operator instead of just one caret. For an example, let's type that in. I'm going to clear the screen for you. I can type in ls tech l slash usr slash bin and then caret caret instead of just one caret ls tech output dot txt. Now the text file will be created and saved as well. So if you type this file command in like three, four, or five times, it's going to keep saving to it instead of overwriting each time. Let's try that out. Now I'm going to write it two times, and then I'm going to type in ls tag l, and then ls tag u, the output.txt file. So it shows me it's 19, 197, 216, what is that, bytes, I guess? I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Only correct me once though, please. All right, and then I'm going to type in, type it in one more time, and then type in the lstack ls output.txt. And there you go. So it does multiply every single time. Ha ha, awesome. Now, every time you do that, it does keep on multiplying, and you can also type in lstechl and then the file to check it, and you'll be able to see that the file just keeps on growing in size instead of just, you know, erasing it and starting all over again. Now, next week, I'll be covering how to redirect those standard errors, but first, make sure to email me tips at hack5.org with your thoughts, or you can comment below, and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you guys to trust your technolest. Bye. How was that?